it says that Jesus healed all who were oppressed of the devil. Everyone that, Jesus, that the Father sent him to was healed, 100%. And everyone who came to him was healed. But not everyone who was sick on the planet was healed. All right? In Acts 3, we have Peter and John walking to the gate beautiful, and they see a lame man who's been there for years. The implication is he was there when Jesus walked the earth. But for whatever reason, he didn't cry out or the Father didn't lead Jesus to him. We don't know how, we don't know why. We just know that he was alive in the same city as Jesus when Jesus was healing people. Many believers make what I think is a huge mistake in creating theology around what didn't happen. Jesus never taught on un unanswered prayers because he never had any. He didn't teach us how to navigate when people aren't healed because he didn't have that happen. You can only impart what you have. He was summoning us, inviting us, compelling us to enter into a stream of life, a thought of ministry where we do what he did and that is we're all are healed. Now, I may never be good at this. I may stink at it my whole life. I just don't have the luxury of changing my assignment to what I do well. Most people look at their gifts, their skills, their talents, and they, they come to a conclusion what their ministry is by their gifts and talents. In other words, I'll define my ministry by what I'm good at. <clears throat> Jesus defines our ministry, ministry by what we can't do. <clears throat> In Matthew 10, he says, heal the sick, Raise the dead, cast out devils, cleanse lepers. He didn't say pray for the sick. He didn't say pray that they be raised from the dead. He didn't say that. He said raise them. Yeah, well, Bill, we're not healers. We, we pray for people and that's how they're healed. I get it. It's just not what he said. He said raise the dead. <clears throat> I don't know if you've noticed this yet, but the father doesn't seem to have a problem making us uncomfortable. <laughs> My comfort is not high on his priority list. <clears throat> he, I, I personally think he gives me commands that make me uncomfortable so I'll need the comforter. Is that, is that combination. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in way over your head. You'll have to learn how to pray now. <laughs> I'm going to give you an assignment that if you really believe and understand what this assignment is, you'll know it's impossible. That way you'll really learn to pray. It's the Lord who puts us in these situations that are actually impossible to do. How could you heal somebody? How could I? How could I raise anybody from the dead? And yet that is the express command. Why? Because in the command is the automatic implication. You can only succeed through intimate, tender relationship with God. 